Are you studying at the university? Or are you planning to join the university? Or maybe you're just curious to find out about my two friends and what they spoke about at the university on their first day. If you are interested, then please stay with me in this lesson. I'm your tutor for the day and my name is Michelle. Join me. Let's start. <music> There are two friends, my friends, Billy and Jack. And what did they speak about on the first day? Of course, when you meet someone for the first time at the school, at the college, university, the conversation is very introductory and informal as well. So let's start. Billy, hey, my name is Billy, what about you? Jack, my name is Jack. Where do you come from? I come from uh, Southern California, what about you? I'm from Houston, Texas. Aha, uh -huh, that's nice. So what year are you studying in? I'm a freshman, what about you? This is my first year too. Oh, okay, nice to know. Pause. Let's find out what do these words mean that they used? Some strange words did you hear? Freshman, who is a freshman? Freshman is a person who is studying in the first year of university. I'll write it here for you. First year. What about somebody who's studying in the second year of university? That person is called a sophomore. Yes, a sophomore. This word has three syllables, so for more. And who is a junior? The person who is studying in the third year of university. You must have guessed it. Senior is somebody who is studying in the fourth or fifth year of the university, depending on the course. Fourth or fifth year. Let's continue the conversation between Billy and Jack. Billy, hey Jack, do you know what you plan to major in? Yeah, initially I thought political science, but now I'm leaning in towards English literature. What about you? I plan to major in social work. Pause. Did you hear those words? New words? What did they say? Major, what is major? Major, as of what we know, is something greater. But here, it talks about the next level of graduate school. So if you're studying your graduation, your undergrad, once you complete it, you enter into your majors. After undergrad. And what is this minor? What is Billy and Jack, uh, what are Billy and Jack doing right now? They are minoring. Yes, when you're studying in the undergraduate university, you are minoring. It is lesser than major. Do you know there are different words for majoring and minoring? Yes. So when you complete your majors, you enter into, you enter into probably PhD or MPhil, but when you're majoring, what do you receive? Which degree do you receive? You receive a master's degree. So you've become a master of your subject. Awesome, isn't it? Master's degree. And minor is for bachelor's degree. Yes. You're expected to be a bachelor when you study in the undergrad school, probably. So major and minor for you, 
when you complete your major or your master's, you receive a master's degree. And when you complete your minor school, you receive an undergrad or bachelor's degree. Let's go ahead with their conversation. Keep, please stay. The conversation is only getting more interesting. Here. So let's start. Billy, why did you decide to join the school, Jack? Well, for me, either it was this school or the school next to my home. And I simply wanted to get away from home, so I joined this university. What about you? I researched a bit and I found out that this university has everything to offer that I need. Oh, that ways. Did you hear some more new words? Yes. School and uni. What is uni? It is short for university. And school is another word that you can use for university or you can also call it an undergrad school. Undergrad or maybe graduation school. As I told you, undergrad school will be used for minor and graduate school will be used for majors. Isn't it fun? You've learned so much to talk about at the university on the first day. But do you want to know what else they spoke about? Let's see. Act 2, scene 3. Let's go. Dormitory. How could they have used it? Let's find out. Billy. Hey, so are you staying at the dormitory? Jack. Yes, I'm over at the Terry Hall. What about you? No, I'm not. I'm commuting from home because I have an apartment right next to the school. Oh, that's quite interesting. Pause. What now? What is a dormitory? So dormitory is a sort of a building that offers you a set of rooms, which could be private or semi-private rooms, with combined or common bathroom facilities and even common recreation. That's what a dormitory is. You find a lot of people, a good number of people, living together. Building with many rooms. Something like a hostel. Hostel. Commuting. Jack said I'm commuting from home. What does that mean? This means he's traveling to college every day from home to travel let's find out what happened next hey Jack how many credits are you taking this semester I'm taking 10 credits what about you let me guess you must be taking 16 credits aha uh -huh, you were near I'm taking 20 credits credits semester Semester is a period of six months, or maybe 15 to 18 weeks. Your whole academic term is divided into two parts. The first part is the first semester, and the second part is the second semester, divided into six months each. That's what a semester is. Six months. Of a term. And what are credits that they were talking about? Credits add value to the course. They tell us or they tell another academic institution how important your course is and what is the value of your course. It also means the number of hours you spend studying that course. You'll find it very much in the American education system. Value to your course. All right, this is enough talking on the first day of college. It's time that Billy and Jack head to their respective destinations. One goes home and the other goes to dormitory. Yes, 
So let's just end the conversation with a nice sign-off note. Hey Billy, it was really nice talking to you. I think it's time we go home. Hey Jack, it was nice talking you, to you too as well. And let's hang out soon, tomorrow probably. Yes, I'll see you later. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. That's how you sign off when you meet someone for the first time at the college or maybe another place. But they use the term here, hangout. What does it mean to hangout? Hangout means to spend time together with a person or maybe more than a person, maybe three, four people at different locations. That's what it means, to spend time together at different locations. Spend time together. So if you're entering the university, have a great time. You'll be a freshman. And if you're already a sophomore, I hope you've learned some vocabulary to talk to that new classmate. Have fun, and I had a great time teaching you. I hope you come back for more lessons on university life. Because now, Billy and Jack are very close friends, and very soon they're going to talk about everything from professors to grades. If you want to learn that, please come back. I'll miss you till then. Bye-bye.